This shows the settings for the material um, that sits in the background when rendering to the HUD. Notice the ambience is black. This shows the material settings for the actual HUD itself. Um, it's an, an add, um, there's no background color. This shows you what happens when you change the ambient color of the background to another color other than black using the add. Uh, this is for creating transparencies. Here is the setup of the scene, the top left hand side of the screen. The, um, there's the actual HUD and the rest of it is the camera pointing at the render target. Again the ambient set to black here and uh, using an add for the material in the HUD. You can resize the, uh, the black frame that I've shown so that it does clipping there. Um, if you look carefully you can see that the sparks are going into the white space in the HUD. Um, so theoretically your black background could be any shape you wanted. You could create silhouettes with other 3D shapes. And here's the final effect with many HUDs, um, HUD elements or HUD components doing the render to texture thing um, so that uh, it's showing the, the fireworks in real time. I guess uh, to polish this up you'd have maybe several cameras pointing at different um, particle effects and then just fire them off using code so that it was a bit more random than this.